Hi all, my name is Mass Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today it is April the 16th and that makes this day 36 in isolation. The death rate in Denmark to the COVID-19 virus is at 53 per 1 million citizen. So that leaves us at a pretty flat curve compared to other countries in the world. Now today's topic is this uh, 7 MBP 50RA 120 ITPT three-phased full bridge brick because when I opened this brick up in the teardown video of the three kilowatt server drive it was quite surprising to see these large copper bus bars inside the brick so we are doing a full teardown and analysis of this according to its datasheet and schematic let us start out by getting a overview of the IDPT brick internals now here I have marked up the six power terminals of the IDPT brick we have the B for break, P for positive, and N for negative. Then we have U, V, and W, the three motor outputs. Now, as you can see, according to the schematic, we also have the control pins. So the three first sets of three pins here are the high side of the full bridge, and they go to the left side of the brick. And over here, we have the lower side drive uh, PBM inputs and they go to the right side of the brick. Here we also have the alarm outputs and brake activation. We can see that the brake goes to the middle here. We have some sort of uh, die and some other die underneath here. We have the positive supply going into the collector part of the high side and we have the negative part going to the emitter part of the low side. Then we have the output sitting on each their side or in the middle of the full bridge. So we have collector emitter, collector emitter, collector emitter of the three half bridges of IGPT bricks. So let's move further down into the brick. The pre-driver part of the IGPT, which are the small brown bricks we can see here, they have several different jobs they can do. They can detect overcurrent, undervoltage, overvoltage, and direct die temperature. So let's take a closer look at how these legs up here connect down to the different pre-driver ICs which are built into the PCB here. Now here we can actually see the connections running down, the bonding wires going into the chip, and we have the different bonding wires going on to the IDPG die itself, and we have a few that flies directly into the dies in the middle. Now the circuitry in here is a bit harder to um, do a complete analysis on as it was not a part of the schematic or data sheet. Let us just enjoy these beautiful pictures before tearing up the bus bars. Here you can really see the bond wires in the middle where you can just spot a diode it seems. Here from the top we can also see the pre-driver bonding wires out on the left side. Here from the other side we can again spot the low side ITPT and diodes. Here I have as gentle as possible removed the copper bus bars and as you can see that does leave the high temperature silicone gel filling here a bit stirred up and it's not as clear now as we could see through the gel besides these bus bar parts. Let us jump in and take a really good close-up look of this IGPT die and its different bonding wires and pre-driving circuit. So if we just zoom in and we start out up here in the right corner with the pre-driving circuit for the breaking IGPT die. Well, there's not too much to see here, but we can see that the whole brake line goes over to the brake diode or freewheeling diode. And if we go down and look on a ITPT die here, we have the ITPT. It has three ports for its high current connections where you can see the aluminium bonding wires going between the die and the emitter connector. And we have the anti-parallel body diode sitting here, bonding wires for that as well. It is a bit more clear for the second die here. As we can really see all the bonding wires going between the ITPT and the diode. We can also see the four bonding wires going over to the pre-driving circuit. And we can even spot a single bonding wire going all the way over here to measure 
out on the emitter of the high side ITPT here. Now if we move to the low side, those are mostly distorted by the bus bar running over there. But we can see that a lot of uh, inputs to the pre-driving circuits is a uh, common line running all the way down. But it seems that they have a single a single lane per driving circuit, else the rest will have to be common uh, supply rails or one common alarm. With the schematic at hand up here in the right corner, we can now walk through the circuit according to the schematic. Now if we start with the positive input, I have marked th those up by P, and as we can see that goes to the high side collector part, and we have ITPT 1, 2 and 3 of the upper side of the three-phase full bridge sitting here in the left side. Now the negative supply goes in here at N, N and this supplies the emitter part of ITPT 1, 2 and 3 of the three-phase full bridge low side. Now the break, we can see that we have the input, we have that to the right side from pin 10 to 16. We have the ITPT die sitting up here. The brake connects down to the middle between the ITPT die and the diode that we have out here, which goes to the positive supply. Now each output to the three motor windings is U, V and W. And if we take a look at W up here, we can see that one connects at the low side collector and the other connects to the high side emitter. The ITPT dies are normally have bond wires with different areas on in order to have the current sharing uh, even out, and but that depends on the ITPT technology. Uh, the gate we have that all in the all out in the left side here, and the full covered part we have here is the anti-parallel diode. What I have done here is I took the schematic, I um, stretched it a bit, and I flipped it horizontally, and it actually fits down onto the ITPT brake module. Just look how the braking ITPT up here with the diode, we have the low side, high side, low side, high side, low side, high side ITPTs with its anti-parallel diodes as well. Even the pre-driver markups here are actually fitting right over top of the pre-driving circuits out here. So that's actually quite interesting that the schematic they drew up in the datasheet is quite like the layout of the brick itself. So I thank you for taking a look at this video and I hope you enjoyed these beautiful pictures of a old school ITPT module. So I will just let you round off with some nice high res pictures of this module, also without text. So until next time, see ya.